In 2021, there are over 2 million podcasts. Today is the very first episode. This is episode one. So in this video, we're going to plug our podcast. And probably for good reason. The podcast is moving to Spotify. Spotify strikes $60 million podcast deal with Barstool's Call Her Daddy. But most podcasts fail. If you look at the Apple Podcasts catalog, 64% of their podcasts have less than 10 episodes and 26% have only one. But why? There's a side to podcasting that is rarely talked about. And this is what we're doing today. We're talking about why most podcasts fail and asking the question of, should you really start a podcast in 2021? But before we talk about 2021, we need to talk about 2015. Apple launches its first podcast app and it has 3,000 free podcasts on it. And it was an instant success. But fast forward to 2021 with 2 million podcasts and the industry has never been bigger. And there is so much advertising dollars being pumped into the industry. So many people downloading podcasts, so many people listening to them on the go. So why shouldn't you start a podcast? Well, my friends, to really understand that, we need to have the full picture. There are three factors that most people do not consider when they want to start a podcast. A tiny caveat here, I'm talking about starting a podcast for it to be your full-time income or to generate money. If you're starting a podcast to talk about your friends about how cool elephants are, just enjoy it, because elephants are pretty cool. <laughs> now back to podcasting. The main issue with growing a podcast is the lack of discoverability. When you're on a platform like YouTube, YouTube pushes every single one of your videos to different audiences, and depending on how it performs, it pushes it to more and more people. But with podcasts, it's very, very difficult for a new podcast to get on the top 10 chart. And this lack of discoverability creates a huge barrier to entry for those that have no audience, but still want to build one just through podcasts. But if you're one of those people that has a tiny audience and you want to grow it into a larger and larger audience, it's quite difficult to funnel in each individual audience member. Because the issue is, people listen to the same podcasts over and over. Rarely do people discover new podcasts on their own. Someone either recommends it to them or they find it outside of the podcasting app. Somewhere like YouTube, your thumbnail and title can grab someone's attention. However, if you have an hour-long podcast, it's very, very difficult to have someone commit to listening to an hour to understand how great your podcast is. So each new individual viewer needs to be a struggle. And if you think that it's a good idea because influencers are doing it, you need to realize that influencers aren't starting from scratch. Whether it be Logan Paul or Emma Chamberlain, they are funneling in their existing audience from other platforms that have discovered them from those platforms into the podcast. And let's say you're one of the very, very few people that is able to push your podcast and start building an audience and you've got the ball rolling, it's very difficult to get repeat audience listens. And this is where the real money kicks in. To get sponsored or to get brands to advertise on your podcast, you need a certain number of downloads and you need to prove that people are coming back to listen to your podcast. And retention on podcasts is very, very difficult because you can have people commit to a 10 minute video. However, it's quite difficult for them to commit to an hour long conversation if they don't know you, love you and seek you out. Great, so we should just gather all the mics and equipment and just quit podcasting forever. Not necessarily. I did mention in the beginning of the video that there is loads of money to be made from podcasting and there is a huge demand. It's just about finding a way around the three major issues that I've spoken about. You want to get discovered? Well, don't start on a podcasting app. Do what so many other people do and start a video based podcast because then you can leverage places like YouTube, Instagram and Facebook push your videos to so many people, get discovered on those, and then they're going to seek your podcast out from their favorite podcasting app. So leverage discoverability from other platforms and funnel them into your podcast. And you can get around the second hurdle of showing people why you're special and why they should listen to your podcast by getting snippets of your podcast and editing those and adding them to places like Facebook and Twitter. So rather than hoping that someone is going to click and watch the entire episode and realize you're special, you're showing them exactly your unique selling point in 30 seconds. And once you've found really good reach and people find that you're special, building an audience, which is the most difficult part, becomes so much easier because now you've got proof, you can then leverage that to get on other podcasts 
or use other social media to build your audience there and then funnel it into your podcast. Two main things that have worked really well for other people in the past is going to the podcast that your audience listens to and trying to become a guest on that or just going to where your audience hangs out. If your audience hangs out on a certain Reddit or on a certain Facebook group, if you're on there, you can funnel those people into your podcast. It's just about knowing who your audience is, where they chill, and what would be interesting to them. Podcast or no podcast is a question that you need to answer. But one essential skill as a podcaster you need to learn is how to stand out. And this video will show you three steps on exactly how to do that. I'll see you guys in the next one.